Hi guys, Asmo here and today I'm going to talk about how to pick your perfect league starter, how to prepare for a league start and how to figure out what's going to be your strategy. So uh, first of all, league starters uh, are going to be very similar to the last league, but people are going to be able to basically look back in time and see what they enjoyed, see what worked, what didn't work and refine that. So there are going to be very, very strong league starters and you definitely want to take advantage of that. There are so many builds that have been tested that are very, very strong i've been just uh, planning my league start i've been looking through some crafts and analyzing the meta and crafts and so on and uh, i basically noticed that a lot of the builds are uh, becoming really refined and so this time people are going to have much easier time figuring out how to go for upgrades because they can also look at the previous league right so if you didn't know you can go to poe ninja you can select the leagues for example arch nemesis the trade league and you can go in the time machine you can go back to day one day two day three week one and you can see at different stages how did the builds look like so if you look for example at like day six right which is like like end of like the first week you can look at certain builds so if you're for example playing like explosive arrow you can look at different builds who got to level 100 and you can check them and see what are the common things between these builds what do they have what kind of a bow they have so you can see like they go for plus to the levels and fire damage over time multiplier uh, and also attack speed so very similar to actually toxic rain builds right so they're going for like um short bows could be grove bow maybe but the short bow is basically um, item level 50 because they're getting that from a divination card so you already know that you can get these divination cards for a six link and you're seeing like the common things between the builds someone's using a headhunter but other people are using the diet and dawn so you know that this is something that you want to be looking for you can look at the common things see what your upgrades are going to be and very very clearly see that but how do you pick which to build to actually go i usually recommend uh, like whenever someone asks me what build they should play i always ask Ask them a question in return and I say what content do you want to run right because I think certain builds are well-rounded certain builds are more specialized at, at uh, different content so there are builds that are great for bossing but they suck for the clear speed and there are builds that are great for clear speed but they suck at bossing and there are builds that are decent at both there isn't really anything that's like excellent at everything because pretty much everybody would be playing that right there's always like a little bit of give and take between the builds so uh, if you want to be bossing because there are a lot of uh, new bosses to conquer there are the uber uber bosses now uh, if you're rec if you're definitely like um interested in bossing the build that i would probably recommend would be the seismic trap right the seismic trap slash physical traps would be probably the best bossing build that you can league start with it's going to be very very powerful it's going to clear the maps just fine uh but it's definitely going to excel at bosses that's going to be like the easiest uh, build that you can get into bossing with if you're interested in bossing you can also try explosive arrow it's a much easier build to play i think it's a it's a totem play style right so you just plant the totems and you just run around you don't have to aim anything you just put them wherever you're running and it's a bit of an easier play style definitely very very easy play style it has also decent ish clear like none of these top meta builds are going to be really bad at anything right but uh, but definitely uh, excels at uh, boss killing when it comes to uh, clear speed right so let's say you're interested in clear speed you can go for something like poisonous concoction poisonous concoction definitely has one of the is, is one of the top builds when it comes to the clear speed it's very very good at that uh, and it can do bossing as well uh, but i would definitely recommend if you want to do bossing to play pathfinder so that you can also rely on the flask recharge better right so poisons concoction if you want to go for clear speed another thing another build that is good at uh, clearing would be something like for example corrupting fever so uh, corrupting fever either um, champion or gladiator is a very powerful build when it comes to clearing but it, it really suffers from low single target damage usually right so you're gonna be able to clear the maps extremely fast especially if you're uh, you either can play with the tornado shot or you can play with the kinetic blast the kinetic blast uh, corrupting fever is very easy to get to very easy to get started uh, and it's gonna have super Super, super quick clear speed and uh, allow you to just do your maps very quickly but it doesn't have good single target damage right so that's a little bit of a of a drawback for playing that build 
Now, when you're looking for something more well-rounded, right? It's a build that can do everything, but it's not really gonna be the best at anything, right? So that's gonna be something like, for example, the Savon Skeletons build, Skeleton Mages version of it, right? So if you can see, if I click on Savon Skeletons, we can see that 99% of the people who are uh, who are, were starting with the uh, Skeleton uh, as their sixth link or their five link, like their main, main uh, gems set up, uh, they had the Dead Reckoning gem, right? which, which turns your Skeletons into Skeleton Mages that do like all the elemental damage. And that also means people are using the Flesh Crafter, uh, which makes it so that they ignore elemental resistances. Um, so this is a very powerful League Starter that can be done on a really low budget and it can clear T16 maps very, very quickly. If you're just interested in like generally progressing the game going into the maps and just do it trying a little bit of everything trying a little bit of bossing mainly mapping and doing all kinds of other stuff summon skeletons is definitely going to be something very comfortable for that uh, lightning strike is another build uh, for that but lightning strike i would recommend if you're looking for something that you want to try to min max a little bit this is definitely a build that benefits a lot from investment you can start on a budget and you can have good results on a budget with lightning strike uh, but if you invest in it it definitely uh, pays uh, dividends when you get like extra currency put into that by upgrading all the gear so lightning strike is a build that if you really enjoy like upgrading your character and progressing with it for a long time lightning strike is something that you can do that with um, other than that uh, spectral helix um, spectral helix is in my opinion a bit of a clunky build it's definitely good at bossing uh, it's it's okay at clearing but i think it's like the thing that it specializes at is definitely simulacrums right simulacrums are something that spectral helix can do very well uh and also i think some on skeletons like skeleton mages can do um simulacrums very well so if you're for example interested in simulacrums definitely take a look at those builds right like the summon skeletons skeleton mages as well as the uh, actually fizz traps is very good at simulacrums as well if you make the build correctly if you have a lot of aoe um then we also have like spark absolution those are like those are like less popular builds but definitely spark is viable in many different versions you can take a look here um so basically that's it right when it comes to the build choice i would recommend think hard about like what content do you want to run like me for example i'm going to be definitely running a uh, heist early on and then i'm gonna be crafting so i'm just not gonna care about bosses at all i'm just gonna be clearing like tier 9 maps so that i can get harvest that allows me to craft everything i want uh, and i'm gonna rely on that early on so i'm definitely gonna start with a bow skill i'm gonna start with rain of arrows and then maybe transition into lightning arrow or the omni shot or something like that right that's gonna be my plan that's why i'm picking the build specifically for my strategy now other things that you can do when you're preparing for um, the league start i definitely recommend setting up searches so set, set up searches get the better trading extension and set up searches ahead of time so that you don't have to think about all of the things that you're going to be looking for like for example if you're playing um ea ballista right if you're playing ea ballista you can set up search for dial and dawn you can set up search for the uh, cards for the bow you can set up search for any of the uniques or rare items or jewels or anything else that you need for the build you can do it ahead of time and save yourself time you can just make a folder with all the items that you need for that right that's that is this is very very handy um speaking of setting up stuff ahead of time i also recommend setting up loot filters so loot filters are very very powerful uh, i have recently updated my loot filters that i have uh, on my patreon because i'm sharing the loot filters that i make for myself with my patreon supporters as a way of like giving back to the people who uh, who support me and i have made a big overhaul of the loot filters the the loot filters have so many changes as you can see here the edits that they have are like 2500 2600 and i basically had to redo them from scratch so that i do it do them on like the newest uh, let's say engine of the filter blade so that whenever the league launches i'm basically gonna um, update them like a couple hours whenever it's possible like a couple hours before the league i'm gonna update them and post them again for everybody to be able to start the league with but i did something new this time uh, i made filters for a melee i made filters for like caster summoner and a bow leveling as well as poisons concoction as well as another filter which is basically mapping post chaos recipe because these leveling filters show rares which can be used in the chaos recipe and it's optimized for doing the chaos recipe as well uh, but also the post chaos recipe filter is uh, included right away uh, because i'm gonna be a little bit late to maps because i'm gonna be heist 
testing and normally I update the different strictnesses of the filters as I do it myself and then share it with people. So I'm doing this ahead of time so that people don't have to wait for me. Um, and with the filters, I definitely recommend uh, you set up yourself uh, all the currency that you're gonna be picking up in a, in a specific way that tells you uh, what you want to pick up and what you don't. Don't have stuff showing on your filter that you're routinely skipping, right? So if there are certain things that you don't wanna be picking up, you should not have them show up on the filter. The important things I think are, for example, for leveling the sockets, right? Sockets and currencies and things that can uh, cost currencies are super important. So this is an example of my filter that is focused on bow leveling, which means I have here mostly like green uh, sockets, like green with red, green with blue and green, green, green uh, on, on the items that I'm gonna be picking up. So for example, I don't have like two-handed weapons here or like melee weapons with that showing up, right? Um, we have uh, we have different things. Uh, so we have like, for example, quivers, right? You want to make sure that quivers are highlighted. Different weapon bases as you're leveling. For example, I would like to see a longbow so that I don't have to spend the transmutation. I would like to see a lapis amulet because I want some intellect. And if you're playing, for example, a caster, maybe you want a strength amulet or maybe you want a jade amulet. And those are things that are really nice to show up because you don't need to um, waste currency on that, and you just can progress faster and have your character stronger. And then um, for Chaos Recipe, I also recommend having different colors. As you can see, my rares have normally like a green color until I get to level 60. Once I get to level 60 zone, they have orange color, which signifies that they can be uh, used for the Chaos Recipe. And when I get to level 75 again, they change the color again because that no longer counts for the Chaos Recipe. It's a regal recipe at this point. So anything within that range where you can do Chaos Recipe is highlighted with that color and that is making it super easy and I also have like mostly items that take um, low amount of uh, slots or something that I would need myself for upgrades uh, so that I can do this quickly and not have to think about what I'm picking up, right? So loot filter, super, super important. If you're interested in uh, my loot filters, you can check out the Patreon. Link is in the description and you can get them from there. Otherwise, you can just make your own loot filter on fil Filter Blade. And if you want to just go with any like random never sync filter, I recommend the semi-strict, but I think if you if you put the time to make the filter yourself it's going to be thousand times better uh, because you're going to be able to just hide so many things that you don't want to be picking up and show uh, with bigger highlight the things that you really care about i definitely definitely recommend uh, working on your loot filter and making it really nice. Another thing that you can set up is actually in-game. Ahead of time, you can set up your stash tabs. Stash tabs follow basically the league that you're in. So for example, if you're going to be playing in hardcore trade, you wanna set up hardcore trade stash tabs. If you're going to be playing uh, softcore trade, you wanna set up the standard stash tab, right? If you're going to be playing SSF, then you wanna set up uh, the SSF stash tabs and they're basically going to be copied. Uh, what's gonna be copied is all the names, all the color coding and the placement everything like that is going to be copied so for example if i want to uh, work on crafting as i am i'm going to be like setting up soon all the different stash tabs for different crafting bases and different crafting materials and so on ahead of time so that i don't have to do that later on when the league starts so make sure to set that up in standard if you're playing in the trade league and that's basically it um, hopefully this is gonna help you a little bit with uh, picking your league starter and figuring out uh, a little bit what you can do ahead of time to have a better league start thank you so much for watching and see you next time